Hey guys, what is up? In this video, I'm going to show you these new runes I actually heard of after coaching someone. I believe he is D4 MMR, and he was doing really well with Denzel, so I want to try out his page. These are the runes I'm taking. You can replace Alacrity with Tenacity or go last stand as well. I want Kugras because they're pretty much squishy this game. I want to look for some early kills, kills and snowball from there. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So get MR because they have a lot of magic damage on their bot side of the map. And we will probably just play bot side this game. I mean, they have Ignite top, so I can look for an early gank top. Actually, uh, I think bot's a farm lane, so just better start bot and, and top side. Melee, melee matchup, no TP. One early game kill, shouldn't make the lane super free for Riven. Hopefully my top can ward this out as well. Really helpful, because I just wanted to ward this, you never know. Elise won't really level one cheese your cross map buff, but never know. Some people can just stack there, late invade, kill my Riven. Game is off to a bad start, so. So at least probably starting blue as well. I can probably invade her at red. I think the mid matchup is pretty 50-50. Yeah, auto E. Similar to Elise when you auto W or auto Q. First auto is always free early game. We have little to no attack speed. Walk back, force to me, save an auto worth of damage. He started blue. Probably gonna invade Elise, I think. I can do Red, blue here, and then evade him out as red. Keep my smite. Which is what I think I'll do. I think matchup is exactly how I assumed it would go. Early game fizz, that was pressure. After that, pretty free for cat. I think I'm actually going to do that. Hopefully he didn't rush three off his wolves. Which if he did, will be pretty bad for me. I can just gank top early then instead. He has D shield, but... Gonna go aggro. Let's kill that creep. Got it. Should be free kill. So I just changed my trajectory there because I saw top lane basically trading and going hard. Could have also killed him here, but this will this is better in the long run basically. People ask me how do you carry games? You can't really carry as much on jungle anymore, you gotta enable your lanes to carry basically. So I definitely made the right play there. I can probably counter get committed, see how the wave is crashing. I'm just afraid of walking to Belize here. So I wanna go to the defensive route. If I bait it, typo as well. Should win this. And yeah, that's how you easily counter. She had no other gank opportunity. Crowd was up soon. I kind of misplayed. I knew Fizz still had E up. I thought I could just kill him before he got it off. My E damage is really minimal, so. Bit of a misplay there, but. Sure, get that one. No problem. The cat had to like kite towards me, but she kind of ran into Fizz. But I mean, worked out for us. Top is also slow pushing, I look for another gang top, or I can just do my blue side. Wolves. We have flash on Riven, so I think it's pretty free. I'll just wait here. Yeah, he has to push in this wave. There's no way he like resets on this wave, as he'll just lose the game. So, this is how you get free kills, basically, even though my Riven just basically griefed the game away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think we're fine, even though he controlled. Now wave is gonna push, so I think we push it up. To so notice how my ribbon fucked up and or messed up, sorry. Um doesn't really matter, it's triple D blade, and we know Darius is in flash and he has to push that wave in basically. That's how you get really easy gang soft, especially on champ like Xin Zhao. Typically I'd say clear your blue side, but I'm just gonna go gank top again basically. I'm almost level six at five and a half minutes, Jesus Christ. So, grab these. Actually, let's just do this instead. Why not? We should be boss doing that earlier. Oh, well. At this stage, I have a choice. Clear these camps towards bot side, towards Drake, or just do these and go top. Which I think I'm just going to go top because it's free kills again. 
So again, I want you guys to be really communicative with your teammates. Like tell them what you're going to do. It helps a lot, trust me. If you know what you're doing, then... Sometimes your teammates don't know. I think this guy may have just trolled, but... I don't know if I win this. Do I? Cancelled auto. I think I'm good. I conquer, so... I top slow pushing again. So again, it's good for my laner, but you should never die there, obviously. I have a minute to work in between my red spawn. Might just go back top or go mid. Yes, yeah, so he's gonna want to crash this again. I'm just gonna sweep and wait. And this is how you should play jungle, really. Blue side camps are down, there's no crab. Crab is up soon, but my red's not up, no point. We just camp here, chill. Season 10's coming right around the corner. Darius comes up and probably dies again. I have a lot of XP though compared to my Riven somehow. <laughs> he's living in the jungle era. So when he goes for a last hit, I'd say, on probably one of these. I'm gonna ping that. There we go, he's dead again. And you can tell how tilted he is, and his game is basically ruined. I could go for crab, but I'd rather secure my right at level 7 like that. Play for Drake. And now top is basically done, so. We now have priorities. But yeah, I actually like these runes, they help you skirmish 1v1, 1v2s. I'm not really paying attention, like, pinging for my teammates, which I should do a lot more of this game, but... It's kind of hard to play, talk to my teammates at the same time as well, because I'm talking to you guys in the meantime. But yeah. At least I didn't go for Drake, she's on her blue. I can probably counter this uh, at zero damage. If I bait again, we know where she is. She has no flash, I know. The moment she walks up, which is right now. Dodged it, so she's dead. No, she has repel. Blows. But I just pinged twice. I think I misclicked. Oh, I think I thought I had pots. Dodge that again. Which is fine. I got stuff, I think. Oh, I think they're both dead. Hmm. Can we bait him to walk into us? Fake like we're doing dragon. It's maybe it's kind of hard to get him. He probably think we're on Drake. I don't know why he did that. I kind of just <laughs> blew the whole play away. Yeah, Janna messed up, which is fine. Okay, I have our MR runes. I'm pretty strong in these sites. I think this guy has flash. Wait, how am I top? No, my top's fine. Crab's still up. I can probably just do that. I grab this red. We have pressure mid, so. Unless she ganks me with this wave in a bad spot. I think we're fine. Which I think he is. Oh, down to Lee's. I don't think he knows. I think he actually didn't see me. Got the flush there, and there we go. Play would have been a lot better bot side if Janna didn't let them know we're there. I know they didn't have vision. They were like, they thought we were on Drake. This is like a really good tip idea. If I walk by wards, just sit in the pit, let them come to us, because Dragon Aggro is really annoying, basically. Yeah, I'm up three levels. I don't actually know how. This is actually working, so. And it's good to get this done in a higher elo game. So I can show you guys. I'm not playing in low elos. D1, D2 is pretty low. Don't get me wrong, but. When you put better players that are doing stuff you expect them to do, it's really helpful. So my, you see my, lane, my laner, like my top laner freezing lane, my mid laner baiting what I'm telling them to do, what they're supposed to do. Rift is worth more than that kill. It's just, you have to tell your teammates what to do. You don't always understand what you're trying to do. Heck, if you know what you're doing, then <laughs> why are you doing it, you know what I mean? So we're just going to clear our blue side, reset, get our warrior, big power spike. Once you have warrior, you always want to reset as fast as possible. And then we just play for Drake. If it leaves as good, she goes Drake right now, just like dies bot basically. The thing is, I burned Elise's flash twice. So she's not really have flash for any of her ganks. Still have plates on the board. I think mid is definitely better to open this game. 
Well, the tower, I mean. Yeah, so far, an extremely good early game. Really surprised. I'm level 9 at 10 minutes, basically. Really close. So I'm happy with this performance. Probably just go... We'll buy Abyss. Just basically how you play as in Zhao is you either rush a Strax or Trinity Force. Nowadays, you're really behind as a jungler, so you go like Strax. But this game might be actually a Triforce game. So we'll see what happens. Stop slow pushing. But we see a Lee's. Just saw him there. It's fine. I'll get level 9. I think I have to help bot out this game. Probably dead, so we'll just drop Rift mid instead. It's pretty much instant now as well. Get my double sweeper. Yeah, boss basically lost cause this game, so gotta play off our winning. But lanes I basically got ahead, because I kinda sack bot this game and just play for mid and top, which is fine. I think mid and top are just a lot more valuable in this current meta. Let me just keep going. Push an either wave. Only it's just Kaiser really fed this game. That's a bit of overstay. And that's kind of bad, but. At this stage, Darius can rotate and such, or Bach can rotate. So I'm probably gonna need Grievous Wounds this game against Soraka. I don't know if I can actually kill Darius with those items. He's super <laughs> tank. So I'll just wait for him to face check if he does. If not, then no point being here. Taking the loss of that cannon. Yeah, he's going for the tower. I don't think it actually. Nah, I think I can. I think he max Q second. Clear my blue side again off repeat. Like, as you see, I'm not really doing Raptors or Krugs. Raptors, when I have nothing else to do, or I want to level off of them basically. The time where I caught level 9 off doing them. But for the most part, reset, grab red buff, and. While I'm walking towards my camps, my blue side camps are spawning. So you're basically being super efficient and multitasking. So I'm not gonna be topside for a bit now, right? Ruin should get that. Or most of the plates. Darius is like super tilted. <laughs> but this is how you basically hard camp a lane. And Zinzel actually isn't as bad as I thought. Maybe Tenacity Green's in this game, but whatever. So buy this. Honestly, it's just buy these so it can stay on top of people. We're strong enough with our base damage, with our base levels, so. The only issue this game I was seeing is bot side. Kinda got destroyed, but they did get a few ganks from Elise. So I just gotta play bot side. Our mid lane tower is gone, this is base, or their mid lane tower is gone. This is basically when our mid lane can start rotating, so. He would have to synergize his room with me moving bot side. So I'm gonna do red, wait for his wave to push, and then spamming bot, I'm gonna tell him to come bot. Elise is probably here, based off their body language. I can only assume she's somewhere in the area. My team is really showcasing that we're not here at all, as you can see. <laughs> but that's fine, as long as we have tower, it's really good. End lane phase. I'm not gonna go in, I don't know where Elise is, so. Stop, but I don't know like, why. You guys are 0 and 5. You're not threatening anyone. I think this guy actually just died. Alright, well. It's kind of why, like, Hail of Blades is better getting a knockoff pass, but once his E's down, it's just basically free kill. Now, Drake's up in a minute. So. Only issue is we know at least top side, so my top side camps are at risk basically. Just gonna grab the crab, get some mana back. I think my top laner might get dove here. Yeah, we're probably just gonna go. 
Oh, she got solo kill. I forgot. <laughs> one and eight solo kill. Nice. Okay, she didn't take my caps. So I don't know what he's doing. I'm gonna play for the Drake though. So this is where like you have to prioritize Drake over your camps at this stage. Yes, these camps are the best source of XP for me, but if I go there and they're all set up for Drake, then we might give them a bit another win con basically. So the shot lanes start sweeping. We have to kill Kaiza every fight, and we just auto win basically. Down three levels, but he's. <laughs> this is why jungle becomes essentially worthless at a certain point of the game. To get outclassed this hard. Then you don't have much of a game impact. So, two options here do you rift then clear my bot top side or top side then clear rift? I'm a greedy player, so you know what I'm already gonna do. I don't know why my teammates are actually mid. I want pressure top, so like once I start moving towards Rift, it's a lot more free once we have pressure in lane. I should be up four levels actually, that's crazy. At 15 minutes, 16 minutes? It's actually really good. I'm gonna cut off the angle for Darius to move towards me, which I think he might, if he knows, he does know. So it should be another free kill. I have Executioner, so. I shot a juke that was like super max range. Alright. Now we want to like get vision here, deny the blast gun, maybe vision here, somewhere here. If we, the game was even, but we're pretty ahead, except their bot lane's a bit stronger than ours. So we just sweep, see over the wall if there's anyone, which I don't think. I think Soraka was there, but. So this is where the warp would come in handy. Caitlyn wouldn't die, she wants to push in the wave, but it's a bit riskier for her. Instead so of just opt going for this first. Because it's not always on the table, right? And second rift is more valuable than first one. Less gold, but more map pressure basically. This so is not gonna hit the fucking range. Jesus. Alright, I have a lot of gold, but I'm still really strong, so I can actually stay on the map a tiny bit. Get a deeper pink if you don't see me. Dodge Cocoon again. And he's dead. See, I don't typically sell the map with this much gold, but like, look at my items, look at these items. You can't even play the game against me, whether he likes it or not. And Zen's kind of a soft counter, at least. If you dodge Cocoon, you basically just eat her alive every time. People tell me how do you close out games. Okay, look at the map right now. We see Darius bot. I have Rift Herald, and their whole team is top. What do I do? Instantly place Rift. Doesn't matter, I have 2k gold. They can't respond, I'm gonna go for an hip right now. And our top and our top has TP, so this is like insane timing on this. Even though our Caitlyn's not coming. And that's how you close out game. See that? Insta tower. 18 minute rift or 18 minute rift into 18 minute inhibitor with a 06 bot lane. So here is a mistake by me, but I mean, if my cat is good, they're all dead, right? I have 2,000 gold and I'm forcing a fight, and I'm only going for this fight because I know I can assume how fed Katarina is, and if you use everything on me, they just the game's over, right? So I wouldn't recommend going for that play in lower elos, it's just I'm trusting my mid laner, basically. And now I have this, so uh, good luck killing me. As easily. It's a tanky ass Arius. Full armor. Okay, we got Baby Viper. General Sniper. Issues with what I build now. It's kind of awkward. Eh. We'll do the hash build against Spirit Visage. We don't have to go have more damage. So yeah, that's typically how you close out a game. Game's not over yet, don't get me wrong, but I mean, at this stage, I'm up four levels. Our May got her items. Top is huge as well as the spot lane. Does not matter. Now it does matter, but if you just focus the only threat on team ADC, then there's not much you can do, really. And now, mid -hip, mid hips down, look at bot pressure. They have no teleport on Darius, right? In lower elos, you'll see a lot of players not running teleport. Two options here, whether or not we go for Baron or Drake. I'm just going to go for... Baron, because earlier it spawns, you're really going to close out the game basically if they can't respond to it earlier. Basically, that's what basically what I'm trying to 
What I'm trying to imply. Jesus. Just woke up. Kind of. We have okay wording. We just, I like to have a word here or something, but... Yeah, they kind of gave up, I think. <laughs> I don't think there's much they can do anyway. This is why you have to like go for Baron the moment it spawns when you're this ahead. One inhibitor down, so much pressure on the map. Like they're not even responding, you see this? Their only tank is dead, they can't really do much. Because Riven's just gonna shred them. Now we got Baron. And I'm gonna opt to push top here. That's probably the best play because we're closest to that wave. Or we can just go bot, drag it into bot basically. So I'm gonna buff the mid wave while my teammates see Drake. That's kinda getting pushed away, but. My teammates. I'm just buffing the wave, I'm not trying to push mid, because we already have inhibitor, we don't have much else to push. Kind of breaking mistake people make. Getting mid inhibitor, going mid again. My goal is just to pressure this lane because I don't offer as much at this stage in the game. Lin Zhao isn't the best late game champion. I'm simply buffing up the wave and making it harder for them to push and having two people come in instead of one. Which I don't even think they can really do. A stopwatch. And yeah, once you get Baron, the games are so easy to close out. Tank he's in Zao, good luck killing me. I should probably went for Fizz instead, but. Also, pretty good at taking towers to this E and Q. This guy had a cocoon on me all game. Yeah, see the difference between having like two strong laners instead of one? So I don't camp bot as much anymore, I try to get mid and top ahead. More map influence, stronger, higher levels, and just better overall. I don't know if this is an end angle, it might be. Okay, we'll just end it then. There you go, gentlemen. Probably one of my best informative games, because it actually happened to be a higher diamond game. Finally got an account that can like queue fast and not make me wait 20 minutes. I mean, preseason is almost over anyways, but I'm pretty sure this will help a lot of people in terms of knowing when to gank, knowing how to gank, knowing how to get your teammates on the same page as you, getting them to bait for you, etc. So most damage in the game, probably most damage taken as well, on our team at least. Damage to turrets, most in the game almost. The objectives, this is how you basically solo carry a game on your own. Better bot wins to be honest. See that? This is why bot lane does not matter. 7-1-1 Kai'Sa. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. If it does, leave a like, subscribe for more, and yeah, much love. Happy New Year.